Hey everyone, it's Mimi of Mimi and Mar, and I am here with a new doll review for you guys. Um, you're gonna have to pardon my voice. I have been sick this week, and I'm just starting to get better, but I've been coughing up a storm, so it has affected my voice a little bit, and I have some hard candy in my mouth to try and keep from doing nothing but coughing this whole video, so... Um, I want to show you guys, we finally have our first cedar, Mara and I. This is the sugar-coated cedar. And she is so pretty. And she is really cute. She comes with um, a little cake. Along, comes along with her. And this whole line is really cute, but this is the one we decided to go with. And a pretty little artwork. And of course, Cedar is daughter of Pinocchio. And the cute little clock. I'm not sure it's been so long since I've heard the story of Pinocchio or even saw like the Disney movie. I don't remember if Geppetto was a clockmaker or not. So, but I think it's really cute. Um, oh guys, I'm going to have to raise up the camera. It's a little bit low to be able to view this. So, let's see. Let's see. It says it's time for the fall bake sale at Ever After High. And the students have a lot on their plates for preparing for fairy favorite re their fairy favorite recipes. Sorry, guys. Each charming treat is royally spalicious, but which one will really take the cake? So this is pretty cool. Even it has a recipe on the back here, sticky sweet truth cake. Now, I don't know if this is, can actually be a recipe for anything. I'm not sure to compare it or what to compare it to. It sounds rather interesting if I can get it to gonna focus for you guys to look at and it has a picture of what I'm guessing is supposed to be the cake up here and all these little cake decorated little decorations and the pretty art artwork of cedar if I can talk right now, also in this line there is Holly O'Hare Madeline Hatter and Gingerbread House, which this doll, I would love to get this doll, so I'm really hoping to do that. No guarantee. Um, I think the playset is absolutely adorable. Alright guys, so I'm going to pause, and we're going to get Cedar out of the box, and I'm going to check her out, so be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, Before I forget, I am so sorry, there is writing here on the bottom of the box on the backing, so I'm going to hold up here for a moment so you guys can pause and hopefully be able to read all of that. I'm going to turn it slightly. Here we go. All right, and here it, oh, I cut off part of her head. Here is Cedar. She's super pretty. She is so pretty. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm munching my voice here. All right, let me readjust the camera again. The tripod is not being very cooperative. Uh, now this cedar does not have any extra color in her hair other than I'm seeing maybe a little bit of shading. It's very natural looking. I know some of the other cedars have like purple or um, like the spring unsprung cedar has purple and pink which we have the spring unsprung cedar so keep an eye out for that review. She has really good hair. It's a little flat back here, but I'm thinking with a little bit of shaking out that it will puff back up. But she has really good hair. It's very pretty. Some curls here. Let me kind of slow down just a little so you guys can see. Hopefully, sorry, she's kind of wanting to wobble around. She's this really cute little bow. It's got like icing dripping on it. This little, oh, sorry guys. In the camera. 
And it's, oh, that's cool. It's a braided headband. You guys can see both sides. Ah, oh, it's attached to her head. Those tags, I know they put them on there to keep this stuff from falling off the dolls, but they're very annoying sometimes. So let's move the camera a little bit more. And you guys can, let's check out her makeup. Oh, it's really pretty. It's like a gray. Let's see if I can get it where it's not glaring. There's a little bit of gold on the inside corner on the bottom lid. And I think that's kind of like a white. So it's like browns and like a little bit of greenish gold. Hopefully it's showing up well enough on the camera. I've got some glare going on. Hang on a second, guys. I'm going to pause and re ooh, not snag her. Her curls are going all over the place. And I am going to fix the lighting. All right, sorry, guys. I'm trying to keep it so, you know, you're not in the dark here and can see everything, but not have such a shine and a glare, and that's a little bit better. So maybe we can see her makeup a little bit better. It is. It's like an orangish brown in there. The crease there, it's a lot of different colors. And her lips. I've noticed they do this with her. I'm not sure why, but it's kind of cute. It's different with the two-tone. So she has really pretty makeup. It's not overdone, but it's not too subtle. It's, I like it. It's pretty. All right, she also comes with, let's see, I think this is, yeah, it's a necklace. And it's removable. That's kind of cute. It sort of gives her dress this collared look. Let me see. If it will focus a little bit. There we go. Sorry, guys, I'm a little wobbly here. But that is cute. You kind of like the little collar, and then it drops down. I think, oh, okay. And it gives it almost like a little button-down look with the little drops there and the little tie. That is so cute. And it makes it really versatile. You know, you could change it if you change out her outfit. You can put that on, on something else. And she also has these. I think this is just kind of too, maybe, I don't know if it's just regular suspenders or if it's supposed to give a glitter hose and look. But, oh, it's cute. It's like waffle pattern, like waffle cone. And it's pink and brown. Ooh, it's all drippy. Like icing. It's drippy all over. And it does detach. And it's over top of... You guys can see... It's a short sleeve dress. It's like wood green. I'll take the, the belt off here in a moment. So we can see what her dress looks like by itself. Now, I don't know what the... Apron's attached to. It's like a waffle cone. That is so cool. Oh, I didn't even realize. They make it look like there's a little pocket with utensils, like a little spatula and a spoon. And I'm not sure what that other thing is. I can't. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be a whisk or. Oh, it might be a knife. It might be a cutting knife. That's so cool. And I'm not sure what that's attached to. I don't know if it's attached to the skirt part of the dress. Just what and this is what that looks like. Or if it's attached to the belt. So no, oh, it's attached to the dress. Alright, I'm gonna try. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fully get it off. What I'm gonna do is just kinda flip it up here. So you guys can kinda see and have an idea of what the dress looks like. That's cute. So it can be worn either way. Excuse me. Hey, that's cool. It's really cute. I like how they still give her that sort of the traditional look. With like with the leader hosen and the the suspenders. Try to get it on there. And this is so cool. She's for her she's so grainy because I've never 
I never got one before. This is the first one. Like I said, this is the first one. So this is cool, this body mold. To give her that look, to make her actually look like she's made out of wood is so cool. It's just, just as cool as these shoes, if I can get my words out. These, like, drippy. I think it's supposed to be, like, ice cream. Her, her theme definitely seems to be ice cream. They're all drippy and goopy. Oh, there's sprinkles. Here, let me... Maybe I should get the box out of the way that wants to focus on the box instead of what's up here. But it is. It's like sprinkles on top of the shoes. And the heel. It's like waffle cone. That's pretty cool. It's cute. These would also be good for um, if you have Monster High dolls and you can change out the clothes. These would be cute for that, too. Alright, guys. Now here... She also comes with a little accessory. I think this is supposed to be... Oh, sorry. Let me get it back into focus and down here. It's like a little wooden spatula type spoon that she comes with. Which is really cute. I like the little accessories. And a cake. She comes... She has a cake. I'm not sure. I can't remember what the other girls come with. I know they each seem to come with a little accessory that I think you can place on Ginger's playset. It's got a little bird, and it took a little bit to figure out what this was. It's the logo. I think it's like the shield, the lock, the key and lock, I don't know. And I'm pretty sure it says Ever After High. Oh, there you guys might actually be able to see it. So there's this cute little wooden grain. I don't know if that's supposed to be there. That might be supposed to be. It's like leaves. So cool, it looks like a yummy chocolate cake. With some blue, with the icing, it's pretty blue. I'm not sure what this is for. I don't know if this is so you can put something from Ginger's playset on it. I'm not really sure. I see it's got, these are, I'm gonna guess those are probably like tray handles. Oh, okay, there's leaves all around it. I didn't even realize that. I was so interested, I was looking at the sides. It's hollow underneath. And of course she comes with a brush. Gold brush. And the stand. They've given her a gold one. Alright guys, so that's Cedar wobbling around back here. Let's see if I can get her around one more time for you guys. I'm just I'm just gonna hold her. So oh oh here. And can you guys see, look, they make it a little bakery set. Um, also the backing, there's the little gingerbread. There's a, a more recent webisode, at least in the English, of the little gingerbread cookies helping them with the bake sale. So the backing is really cute too. I hope you guys have enjoyed and keep an eye out for there are more doll reviews to come. We also have some more Shopkins. We're going to try to do a little something different for Halloween. I'm not sure. Mar and I have both been sick, so just um, keep an eye out. There's hopefully going to be maybe something I think we're going to... I've got some some other doll reviews I'm going to try to do. I have the Monster High Zombie Dance, uh, Rochelle and Venus. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, ooh, yeah, I'm a little out of it, but... I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Find us on Facebook and Twitter. We are also now on Tumblr and Pinterest. I think that's all of them. Did I say Twitter? Yeah, I said Twitter. Twitter and Facebook. Yeah, the... I'm so sorry. I have been out of it with being being sick and all, but hopefully by the next video, I will be a little bit more coordinated. So, I hope, thank you for watching. I uh, will see you guys later. Bye.